what is an indifference curve an indifference curve shows a set of consumption bundles among which the individual is indifferent for example in this figure the combinations x1 y1 and x2 y2 provide the same level of utility since utility level is same on both the combinations the consumer will be indifferent among both these combinations so indifference curve shows similar utility level for two combinations so on a single indifference curve utility is same on all the points marginal rate of substitution the negative of the slope of the indifference curve at any point is called the marginal rate of substitution negative of the slope because it is downward sloping so it is negative the negative of the slope of the indifference curve at any point is called marginal rate of substitution MRS marginal rate of substitution changes as x and y change it reflects that how much the individual is willing to trade the quantity of y for x how much y he is he ready to give up for x now this is the formula for MRS minus dy by dx basically the change in y axis divided by change in x axis okay now at x1 y1 the indifference curve is steeper the person would be willing to give up more of y to gain an additional unit of x so for more x to get to attain more unit of x the consumer is giving if is ready to give up more units of y now as we move downwards along this indifference curve and reach the point x2 y2 the indifference curve is flatter the person would be willing to give up less y to gain additional unit of x now why is this because at point x1 y1 the consumer is more willing to uh, get to attain x and is ready to give up more of y for this additional x now as he reaches x2 y2 there is already too much quantity of x with him now he don't want to give up much of y for additional x because he already have a uh, more unit of x with him indifference curve map basically when the plot more than one indifference curves on a single graph this is called indifference curve map now each point must have an indifference curve through it on this map now, as we move higher and higher from u1 to u2 to u3 so it shows that as we move to higher indifference curve the utility level is increasing along the curve the utility level is same as we move to higher curve the utility level increases now transitivity as we have seen in the axiom of rational choice the axiom of transitivity so how can we show transitivity with the help of indifference curve so first of all there is property of indifference curve that two indifference curve can never intersect and they can never intersect because if they will intersect they will violate the axiom of transitivity for example these two indifference curve are intersecting so the point a b and c are three points and we have two indifference curve u1 and u2 they are intersecting at c now it is clear that a and c lies on u1 and b and c lies on u2 now as indifference curve shows same utility level at all the points so on u1 a and c should have same utility and on u2 b and c should have same utility now as per transitivity if a and c have same utility and b and c have same utility then a and b should also have same util utility level 
but since a and b are on different in difference curve they cannot have same utility level we are facing a contradiction here so this is why two in difference curve will never intersect because if they intersect we will face such kind of contradictions so the figure shows that the individual is indifferent between a and c and indifferent between b and c transitivity suggests that individual should be indifferent between a and b but b is preferred to a because b contains more of x and y and of course b is on higher indifference curve than a so we are facing a contradiction regarding transitivity now convexity indifference curves are convex a set of point is convex if any two points can be joined by a straight line that is combined that is contained that is contained completely within the set that is if we join any two points say these two points are joined with this purple line now this line should be within the set and if the line is within the set then the uh, set is convex the assumption of the diminishing mrs bit of substitution is equivalent to the assumption that all combination of x and y which are preferred to x star and y star form a convex set convexity if indifference curve is convex then the combination x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2 will be preferred to either x1 y1 or x2 y2 basically this says that averages are preferred than extremes so extreme points are less preferred as compared to the average point so the average point x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2 is more preferred than x1 y1 or x2 y2 the consumer will be more satisfied more will be preferring more the point uh, where the uh, point of this average combination average of y1 y2 and x1 x2 this point this implies that well balanced bundles are preferred to bundles that are heavily weighted towards one commodity see x2 y2 is weighted towards x and x1 y1 is weighted towards y but in the point of this average point uh, x1 plus x2 by 2 and y1 plus y2 by 2 he is getting more of both what is now as we have learned about utility and the MRS which is the slope of indifference curve marginal rate of substitution let's see how these two concepts are related to each other suppose an individual's preferences for hamburgers Y and soft drinks X can be represented by this utility function 10 is equal to under root x y now solving this equation for y we will get 100 by x first we will square the equation and then we will find y now solving for mrs as we have seen that mrs is equal to negative of dy by dx we will get 100 upon x square basically we have taken the derivative of y with respect to x which is 100 upon x square so mrs is 100 upon x square now we can see that as mrs is equal to 100 by x square as x will rise mrs will fall so it is diminishing as x is increasing mrs is diminishing now what is marginal utility basically marginal utility is the change in utility as we consume one more unit of good x and mathematically we can show 
marginal utility as total differential of utility function if my utility function is u x y then this d u is the marginal utility now along any difference curve utility utility is constant so there is no change in utility along a in difference curve so d u is zero so how we will find mrs mrs is basically the ratio of marginal utility of x to the marginal utility of y mrs is this partial derivative of u with respect to x divided by partial derivative of u with respect to y is mrs so this is how utility and mrs are related we can find mrs if we have utility function we will take partial derivative of that utility function first with respect to x and then with respect to y and then we'll take ratio of these partial derivatives and we will get mrs